Hi, and welcome to a video by Justin the Nerd Kid. So, I bought L.A. Noir the Complete Edition this weekend on sale on Steam for $13, and I realized that it was a shitty console port that hadn't been optimized to run properly on PC. My computer, which has an i7-2600K and two HD 5850s in Crossfire with 16 gigs of RAM, couldn't pull more than 18 or 19 frames per second. So I did some searching around to try and find some fixes and I found the ones that worked for me and I'm going to show you guys how to apply them because on the forums some people couldn't figure out how to apply them. So here we go. First of all, you can add things to the command line for your launcher when uh, it launches and a lot of people couldn't find where to where the command line was to add these things to. So start with that. Um, you're gonna either want to click on your icon on your desktop, or you're gonna want to launch Eleanor from Steam. So you just click it and launch. And once you get your launcher up, you're gonna want to go to Options, and your command line is right here. So you're gonna want to add the reset line. You're going to want to add the dash str and dash npd. I also have dash ignore focus on. I'm not sure if that one makes a difference. It was supposed to help for crossfire performance, but it didn't do anything negative, so you can just throw it in there. Um, the other one that you can add is plus jobs underscore num threads zero. That one I haven't used yet because I got to the 30 frames per second cap, so I didn't need that one. So add those in and just click OK and it should save them. Now for the second fix that helped me a lot um, was to disable the Windows error log service or Windows event log. So you're going to want to just go to your start menu in search programs, type in msconfig or type it into run if you're using Vista or Windows XP. You're going to want to run it and once you open it up you're going to want to go to services and just scroll down until you find the Windows event log and you're going to want to make sure that it's unchecked and then you're just going to press apply and OK. So that was the one that really did it for me and put me at the 30 frames per second cap. I have no idea why but According to Rockstar, it makes a difference, and as far as I know, it has no negative effects for disabling it. If it does, whatever. Um, so now, for people who are running Crossfire, most people who set up their own systems will know how to disable Crossfire, but those who bought a pre-built system or a laptop that already had it set up for them might not know how to do this, so I'll quickly go over just how to disable your second graphics card. Uh, you're going to want to go Open Catalyst Control Center and go to AMD Crossfire X and disable AMD Crossfire X and press apply. I'm not going to do that though because it'll screw up my recording and I did that last time accidentally and now I'm redoing the video so leave that enabled for me. But uh, the reason you want to disable that is because right now Crossfire is getting negative scaling with uh, Crossfire with the current drivers. I'm using 12.1 and uh, that just basically means that when you enable your second card you're going to get a less performance than if you just used one card for running the game so may as well disable it for now and wait for a driver update so that's what helped me get to uh, a playable for performance in this game it still should perform better and it shouldn't have a 30 frames per second cap but whatever I'll live with it and just be able to play the game properly um, so yeah, if you have any other fixes that helped you, post them in the comments below. If you have any other questions about what I just showed, throw it in the comments section below. And uh, make sure to rate and subscribe if you like the videos, and stay tuned for more. I've got a lot of other games that I bought that had were a pain in the ass to get working properly, so I'll try and upload some fixes. If you have any other games that you had problems getting to run, just post it in the comments below, and I'll see what I can do to find some fixes for you and show you how to apply them. And also, before I go, just make sure to check out my blog, yet another nerd.blogspot.com. I post tech 
blogs and I'm going to be posting music blogs because I play guitar so I'll be going over my amp and effect pedals and I'll be going over CES 2012. I'm really excited to see all the new Android tablets that are coming out and Razer's Project Fiona and I'll just be posting everything interesting that I find related to technology on this blog so make sure to check it out, share it with your friends and uh, I'll see you guys next time.